This is what we call love. When you are loved, you can do anything in creation. When you are loved, there's no need at all to understand what's happening, because everything happens within you. People are capable, at any time in their lives, of doing what they dream of. None of us knows what might happen even the next minute, yet still we go forward. Because we trust. Because we have faith. We are travelers on a cosmic journey, stardust, swirling and dancing in the eddies and whirlpools of infinity. Life is eternal. We have stopped for a moment to encounter each other, to meet, to love, to share, this is a precious moment. It is a little parenthesis in eternity. When we meet someone and fall in love, we have a sense that the whole universe is on our side. And yet if something goes wrong, there is nothing left. How is it possible for the beauty that was there only minutes before to vanish so quickly? Life moves very fast. It rushes from heaven to hell in a matter of seconds. But love is always new. Regardless of whether we love once, twice, or a dozen times in our life, we always face a brand new situation. Love can consign us to hell or to paradise, but it always takes us somewhere. We simply have to accept it, because it is what nourishes our existence. If we reject it, we die of hunger, because we lack the courage to stretch out a hand and pluck the fruit from the branches of the tree of life. We have to take love where we find it, even if that means hours days, weeks of disappointment and sadness. The moment we begin to seek love, love begins to seek us. And to save us. I've been in love before, it's like a narcotic. At first it brings the euphoria of complete surrender. The next day you want more. You're not addicted yet. But you like the sensation, and you think you can still control things. You think about the person you love for two minutes, then forget them for three hours. But then you get used to that person, and you begin to be completely dependent on them. Now you think about him for three hours and forget him for two minutes. If he's not there, you feel like an addict who can't get a fix. And just as addicts steal and humiliate themselves to get what they need, you're willing to do anything for love. By the river Piedra I sat down and wept. Everything that happens once can never happen again. But everything that happens twice will surely happen a third time. I can choose either to be a victim of the world or an adventurer in search of treasure. It's all a question of how I view my life. People never learn anything by being told. They have to find out for themselves. You are what you believe yourself to be. If someone isn't what others want them to be, the others become angry. Everyone seems to have a clear idea of how other people should lead their lives, but none about his or her own.